Oh, welcome. We are testing out um, a new version of Arclinks D. And this, uh, what you see, is a virtual box system. So when I go to a different screen, and, and well, I've accidentally opened up um, Atom, which was not my intention, just wanted to go to a different uh, workspace. We see here this conky being there. I don't like it, so Control T. Casey, you're gone. That's that, Comkey is gone and everything is available. This is a clean install. At this point in time, Variety did not kick in. So Alt N uh, and then we have <coughs> a nice wallpaper that I probably better get rid of. So this is then a neutral, more neutral wallpaper. Now at this point in time, we still have this GTK uh, 3 thingies. I hope they, they, they get fixed at some point in time. Uh, but there is an alternative and it's called GTK Mushroom. I've been trying it out some time, but it takes a while to build and all that. So I just don't bother with it. Three and then Mushroom. So it's included in the video. You'll see it. Okay, so it takes a while to build it, but that seems to be at this point in time the solution to get these icons better. So they're now a little bit over each other, but they still work. Everything just works. That's no problem, it's just a little bit ugly. Okay, that's that, that's, that's been set. Now I'm building on the other side. Let's kill this one. So maybe I should uh, start typing in screen key. So you see what I'm typing. So killing this one is this kind of shortcut. And then moving back to screen one, I'm building something, I'm building polybar. I have a question of a user in my head, somebody asking about the polybar and there is a weather module. I, I really don't re recall everything that I've built uh, over, the ta over time, but let's have a look um, what it might be. Ctrl Alt V, I'm going to Vivaldi and go look on the net. So, Arco Linux, let's see what this what comes out of it. Um, polybar, then weather, and see what we get. Oh no, not Bing, no, no, sorry, no can do. So search Bing, whatever, Google is better. Um, no, it's not in the first, it's in, in here, it's not in the first one, but it's a YouTube thing. I want to go to the website, so let's try again with Arco Linux. Polybar and weather, see if Google finds it. That's a better search. Voila, that's a better search anyway. All models that are available for Polybar. That's what I wanted to have. Okay, and the rest is not what I want. So let's have a look. Is there something with control find weather? Indeed, there is a weather element in here. And there's a video about it, and it seems to be a problem and basically I've just made a video if you go to Arco Linux because my understanding immediately says hey this is exactly the thing I just recorded the last article I made was how to change the color of the Conky AP weather and it's including an API here an API key and the key is also coming from the same website. I see it already when I see this uh, picture. That's the same picture that's in, in this video. So it might help you to see already that video. So where do we get the information from? It's free. Well, until it's going to be paid at this point in time, we may still try to figure it out and use it. So it's going to execute something, a polybar scripts, whether dot by tail is true and whatever but the only thing is what's going to be in the weather pie probably right so while the first page here the workspace is still building it's this polybar thing i wonder do we have anything concerning polybar online oh there was an error so is it completely filled up free space Oof. might be the thing but I don't think so. I still have 235 megabytes. I'm really surprised. It's almost filled up with all these stuff. Maybe a reboot could help. Not sure. 
but there is a problem building ah yeah here it says no space left on the device damn so um bummer right we need to have more space Control H. How much is in the cache? Properties. 2.5 megabyte. That's nothing. Uh, what are my biggest applications? Can we sort them somehow? Can we say the installed stuff and sort by size? No, I can't get rid of that. I can get rid of Atom. For now, this is a virtual box. I don't care. Why Atom? Spotify. Let's wait. <laughs> um, probably do have to wait to do something. So I did Super F and Super F hides my question here. Hey, who are you? You can't just delete stuff. Okay. It's Eric. Delete it. Okay, Atom is no more. Spotify. Apply. Commit. It's gone. Vivaldi. Yeah, I can live without Vivaldi. Nah, yes, no, yes. Vivaldi is still open. Vivaldi is open. Nah, gonna keep it. Firefox is out. Apply. This is just for me to have some more space, right? Don't need to do all this. Free space 754. I don't know. Let's try again. By the way, you did not see it, um, but what you should do, and what I did because this is Arclinx D. Okay. Teaching is in the blood. I've downloaded the GitHub Arco i3 and I ran this one. Use all cores, make package configuration. So I'm using all four cores. That's important for you to know. Okay, now we're gonna build. Otherwise, it's gonna take a little bit longer. But now I have four cores. Polybar. So, number two. This one is an, not a polybar itself, it's a configuration. Okay, so we need an application, not a configuration. So, I'm going to try again. Maybe. We could see already if that's going to be enough. Oh, all my icons are good now. You see? No problem at this point in time. So that'll be strange. So super F. Let's see if I can throw out something more. Still stuff like Chromium can go, Inkscape can go, GIM can go. Apply super F. Let's get out of it. Uh, commit. Okay. Bye. They're out as well. So we have now 1.4 gigabyte. That should be enough, right? Did not give that much to the system. GNOME disks. This is what I did 12 gigabytes to free now. And there's a lot of swap just for the virtual box. I, I don't care. All right, so this is gone that I do not need. I just hope with 1.4 gigabyte I can just build my polybar because I want to see if this weather thingy is not working. What can we do in the meantime while he's doing that? Control H. We can have a look at the config already. Polybar here. Launch. Okay, then you launch config. That's the configuration, fine. But it's pointing to a script anyway, so I'm gonna open that as well. Was it weather? I don't know, I think so. Control find, weather. So at line 2,256, uh, it points to weather pie. So yeah, I need to open that one. It's going to be opened with Genie. Let's open it with one and the same thing. So. Either you just click in its genie, or you say one is in a time this one, or you say I want to have it always with sublime text, and then you say use default sublime open, and it's going to be another tab which is easier to check. 
So, procedure here is Antwerp. The app API key is this key, and that's probably one that's not working anymore. Um, so that's why it's it's um, faulty, I suppose. The API key that I've just used in the article here, uh, we can check it out in the video. <laughs> Okay, here it is. Stop. And then ask for to be sure so we can read it. So that's the API key. It's a different one. F02, F042 or F042, I don't know. But it's that's the one that's working. That's an API that's working. The message from us to you is get your own API key because these API keys they, they are abandoned, I mean, they are um, personal. And if we have too much hits on those API keys, they stop working. And basically, we say up here, surf to uh, this open web map city and, and, and get your API, create an API key free and get it. So since I've made the tutorial, then I know that this conky, config, Conky, 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 conky. Where is conky? Am I missing it? Ah, super F. Oh yeah. <laughs> Since a conky is not present, is not needed, not required on i3, we do not standard install it. So, where is the code? online we still have time as you see it's still built 71 percent space free 1.2 i hope it's gonna be successful where is all our code here article linux there's the code where's the conkey find it conkey conkey collection okay we were talking in that video about api uh, orange, I think, doesn't matter really, because the API is, of course, the same everywhere. So, the API code is this one. I know that one works. Control c So, again, don't rely on our code, because it's it depends how many hits uh, you get, and then it doesn't work anymore, because it's a free service. Get your own personal API key, put it somewhere safe, Copy paste it back in once you do a clean install. Okay, so this line here, you're gonna see it's totally different. It's this line. Safe. Now this code here, serve to HTTPS, open weather, city name, a city number. Uh, Eric, open a weather map, Eric open weather map oh yeah okay it's okay it's the same <laughs> i thought it was another url so uh -huh. we are there it's ready let's install polybar polybar is installed that's a good code let's first try it out without changing the city we can always change the city so api fixed i need to have my polybar it doesn't matter if we're on i3 or on the other um, desktop environment so polybar is polybar in i3 we need to do something so eric put your dot config here okay that's one you're gonna need the polybar to experiment to experiment with you're gonna need the i3 folder yeah you're gonna need mm, that's it that's it okay i3 Content.conf, config, those are the two things, and let's go inside. So, control find polybar. Execute always no startup polybar launch sh. Save. Super shift reload. And there it is. Here's your conky at the top. Um, your conky, your uh, polybar at the top, and the normal bar at the bottom i think it's called i3 blocks 
and we need to have something about the weather because otherwise we won't see anything so well we can of course delete the last the other uh, bar but that's not the point we need to figure out the weather right so mm -hmm, here we have polybar here we have the config and we need to go inside the part where it's i3 and <laughs> it opens at the right place it's very nice of him so that's well, at, almost at the top main bar i3 now where is it again because it's been a while this these things is what is shown i3 okay x window fine network speed up is not shown why there is never ever going to be well almost never going to be the name my name going to be the same for network interface as your name so you need to figure that out look it up if config quite easy and change it in the network speeds up module but that's not the thing we want to have this thing here a weather module now i don't know anymore by heart how it's called again so it's called weather oh we were smart to do that so just weather okay main bar i3 we're back at the top let's get rid of the network speed I'm not interested in that i want to see the weather safe and we have broken clouds and nine degrees celsius that's our antwerp weather so it's working it's an api's fault that it was not working so you need actually to make it yourself to get it yourself and then this um here if we change the city let's do london as well we've done the other tutorial also london it's uh well maybe good to compare notes here and watch the other video as well so weather or forecast london oh that's not london does not exist strange london deny i just want to have london there you are and now you're giving me Okay, search. London GB light rain. This is your number up here. That's what you want to have in your uh, polybar. Control C. And moving to workspace one. This is my city code. Okay, thank you. Control V is forever in the video. Save. And then we need to reload it. Broken clouds, nine. Okay, let's see if this works. Light rain and 13 degrees Celsius. Weather, light rain, 13 degrees Celsius. This is the weather from London. And that concludes our little tutorial. All right, have fun.